In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, good people of God, and welcome to today's edition of Catholic Meditation. I am Father Blessed Amban Njume. Today is Saturday, the 12th of November, 2022. It is Saturday of the 32nd week in Ordinary Time, Church Year C. Today is the memorial of St. Josaphat, Bishop and Martyr. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Stir up in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit that filled St. Josaphat as he laid down his life for the sheep, so that through his intercession, we too may be strengthened by the same spirit and not be afraid to lay down our life for others. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the third letter of St. John, verses 5 to 8. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 112. The response to the psalm is, Blessed the man who fears the Lord. The gospel is taken from St. Luke, chapter 18, verses 1 to 8. I read from the gospel. At that time, Jesus told his disciples a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. He said, In a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor regarded man. And there was a widow in that city who kept coming to him and saying, Vindicate me against my adversary. For a while he refused, but afterward he said to himself, Though I neither fear God nor regard man, yet, because this widow bothers me, I will vindicate her, or she will wear me out by her continual coming. And the Lord said, Hear what the unrighteous judge says, And will not God vindicate his elect who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long over them? I tell you, he will vindicate them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The theme for today's meditation is Justice can be delayed, but with God it cannot be denied. Justice can be delayed, but with God it cannot be denied. Dear friends in Christ, the gospel passage of today is a consolation especially to those who are suffering from any kind of injustice. Those widows, those orphans, those who are marginalized, the weak, the vulnerable, whose land, property have been seized, confiscated or sold by in-laws, landlords, the powerful, uncles, or their very own brothers and sisters. We think of those prisoners locked up behind bars for no just cause. We think of those framed up by cooked up stories who have lost their job or good name in the process. Those who seek justice. Good people of God, your adversaries may seem to get away with it because despite how much you would have tried and struggled, yet things seem not to work your way. But do not be afraid. Do not give up. Listen to the consolatory words of today's gospel. The Lord is the vindicator of the just, and he will ensure that justice is done to the oppressed. Justice may be delayed, but with God it can never be denied, because God is a just God, and he is a God of justice. Our systems may be corrupt. The rich... The powerful and influential have their way. 
they loot, they steal, they cheat, they take away from the poor, they kill them, lock up some in prisons, yet they still go free and move about in the streets because being powerful and rich, they have the law and the law courts. The question is, how do we seek justice? How do we get justice from such oppressors? It is not by fighting them. Remember, they have the money, they have the power, and they call the shots. To gain justice from such oppressors is to tend to God. It is said in Pidgin English, cow will not get tail, na God the drive and fly. Those who have nowhere to tend to, God is their help. God is the vindicator of the just, for he hears the cry of the poor. No one is stronger than God. Let God fight your fight. Take them to God. Take your problem to God. And how can we take them to God? It is through prayer. The widow in today's gospel passage kept praying and praying and praying. And you see the power of prayer. Thanks to God, her prayers moved the judge. The judge who was not ready to give her justice, thanks to her persistent prayer, he finally gave in. This is how God fights for the oppressed. Take your prayers to him, beloved. Never give up. Take your case to him. If you take them to the law courts, I tell you, you will spend even more money than the little that you were looking for. Use that little money to feed yourself. Take them to God in prayer. And I tell you, prayers can work magic that you will not do. Let us learn from that widow in today's gospel passage. God always hears the cry of the poor. And he is a God of justice. And he will see that justice is done to you. So let us pray for that grace through the intercession of St. Josephat that we may always take all our problems to God. All those who marginalize us, who oppress us, who deny us justice, take them to God in prayer and let God fight for you and vindicate you. St. Josephat is a martyr and patron for the reunion of the Greek and Latin churches. Born in Ukraine as an Orthodox in the year 1580, he became a Catholic and then a monk and a priest of the order of St. Basil. He became an Achimandrite and later Archbishop of Pollock. A zealous and dedicated bishop, he worked very hard for Christian unity until in 1623 he suffered martyrdom and the hands of those who opposed his efforts. We wish a happy feast day to all those who go by the name Josephat and to institutions named after him. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Happy weekend. The Lord is the vindicator of the just. Take your worries to him and he will ensure that justice is done to you and for you.